Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this. So I got a comment on my last video requesting how to make it and like a bunch of other videos. I've, I've been asked to do this so many times, I can't even count. So what I've done is, instead of taking the long process of showing you what to do, what to code, I've just made a, a model that you can go download in the description and it shows you where to put the, the folders, the scripts, the models, whatever. So I'll show you how to set it up right now. All you have to do is grab the model, make sure it's in the workspace, press Control U, press Control U again. That'll put the destinations and the character in the workspace. If you have your own character, all you have to do is go in the, the new character and just grab this move to script and put it in your own character. And then you can customize the script how you want if you know how to do it. And there's also a custom animation inside of the the move to script that you can use. I don't think it works right now, I think it's outdated, but if you do put an animation in here it will work and it will actually play. Um and then for the destinations, you can add as many as you want. Make sure that they're labeled one one to five or one to how many you have then if you don't then it won't work you can put as many as you want if you have a map you can put them where you want this the ai that i've, I've made will go around objects to get to it uh using pathfinder service so i'll show you right now how this works i do apologize if the the video is a little bit laggy i'm using a different encoder for my obs right now as you can see the noob follows me and then when it touches me it should kill me you can make it do less damage but as you can see it also goes back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete my character from the world so it can't actually kill me then i'm going to go into the server i'm going to put the character really far away when you get out of range it just goes back to the pathfinding but when you get back in range I'll show you now. So you can move to a random point. When I get back in range, it follows me. When I get out of range, it goes away from me again. And that's pretty much just how it works. You can you can add like custom walk animations, noise animations, what you want. If you just want to customize it a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. If you want to change the distance, uh, like of how far the player needs to be. All you have to do is go to line 9 and just change the max distance closer or further, what you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If there's anything else you want to customise, feel free to do that. But try not mess anything up, because uh, it might break the script and you might have to just redo it all again. But that's, but that's been the video. I know it's quite a short video, but I've got this... I've got this request so many times, so I thought I'd just make a video on it quickly, so that I can get it out to you lot. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe and comment, because this took me quite a long time to make. This took me like an hour to make. Subscribe or like. I'm trying to get 400 subscribers before the end of this month, so that'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.